Look at these dark, fat buds. Yep, so this is Cornus Cusa, opposite, right? Look at this little tree. Look at that exfoliating bark, almost looks like sycamore or quince or zelkova or whatever you want to say, or a Persian ironwood, paradia persica, right? They all kind of share this bark, with, just with different textures, different hues, but the same pattern. Yeah, this is Cornus Cusa. This tree is somewhat similar to our native flowering dogwood from Asia, though. Flowers a bit later, a few weeks or a month later, similar flowers. Look at those little hats. <laughs> yeah, this is, these are the buds of Cornus Cusa, the flowering buds of Cornus Cusa. They're terminal. You'll find vegetative buds also, but there's a lot of flower buds on this, uh, on this tree. It's going to be pretty nice this spring. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so we just passed this Cornus Cusa. We just passed this Cusa dogwood. And the next tree in a row is our native flowering dogwood. I did not know this was here until after I talked about Cornus Cusa. We have our native flowering dogwood with that alligator-like bark, right? These uh, kind of blocky, not even ridged, they're not vertical. They're just like standalone blocks, almost like, like fat braille or something. I don't know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't make metaphors. And uh, look at this flower bud. This flower bud looks like a balloon. The flower buds are very distinct on flowering dogwood. Still fat and round, especially when you compare it to the vegetative buds that you find on elsewhere on the stem. However, uh, not black like Kuza. Kuza's got those black flower buds.